Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon on Loving Life Now. What's today's topic? We are on Loving Life Now. <laughs> what is the topic? What's the topic? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> it's a what big, are you doing here? It's a big topic. Yeah. And what do you reckon it is? Uh, our 250k our profit 250k month. Our 250k month. Woo woo. <laughs> All right, well, as All you right. join us, come oh, yeah, on out. Lee's going to do some sharing. I'd love to welcome you to this evening's stream. So come on out. Let us know you're here. Pop your details in the comments. Come say hi. And say hi. So we can welcome you to our Facebook Live for this week. So who we got out there? Come on out and uh, pop your details in. Tony. G'day, Tony, hey, Tony. In Brizzy. Looking good. Thank you. Uh, Sharon Jones. Hello, Sharon. Welcome. Uh, who else we got out there? Pop your details in. Let us know you're joining us on this evening's stream. We are super excited to be here, aren't we? We're always excited. We're always excited. We got balloons yeah, in the Cheryl. background. <laughs> Cheryl's got Thanks, dollar Cheryl. signs. Uh, who else we got out there? Ah, hi, guys. Ange and Edward said hi, guys. Huge congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Janice Furness is watching. Hello, Janice. Quarter uh, of a million. Quarter of a K million K, K month. Good hey good. guys, um, so nice to see you. Uh, Angie's ah. from Sydney. Uh, Sarah, hello Sarah. Hi guys. Sarah said, Louise Miller. Hey guys. Ida says, Hey superstars. <laughs> Cheryl, Ma Cheryl, we know Cheryl's watching. Keeps flicking up. Gail, hello. Gail says Gail. hi from the Goldie. Huge Michelle. congratulations to you both. Michelle Peel from Varsity. Welcome. Who else we got out there? Pop your details in. Let Brett. us know you're here. G'day, Brett. Welcome. Evening. Uh, Dana over there in in early the US. Morning. Another look, Dan has got out of bed just to come early, and join early us. Morning. Good morning. Annette Johnson, hello from Melbourne, and thank you for your congratulations. Dana says, Congrats, thank you. David Miller, good evening to the awesome duo. Dave Miller from South Australia. Francis Simpson, hello to All you. Right. Uh, Gabby Viner, hi guys. Now, Francis had a big message Ooh, there. Oops, I just spinning. moved the whole camera. What did Francis say? The huge, the yeah. huge, some heartfelt. Uh, heartfelt congratulations on your amazing achievement. Lovely to be tuning in from a freezing Ballarat. It would be very cold. So Peggy says, hi, Good Tammy Janice. Oldham. G'day, mm. Tammy. Great, for you. Great to have you on. Carolyn. Kelly Hamilton says, hi, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Morning. Uh, Dana says, hi, Louise. <laughs> uh, that's where people catch up. Uh, Juanita says, awesome. Uh, Tanya Campbell, yeah. what, did, what did Anita say? She said, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, God, it's flicking so quick. I've lost it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And it's flicking the camera. There it is. Can't wait to hear all about the 250K month. On the screen, on the screen. Um, there's lots of messages. They Lovely keep going. to meet you. Hello. Hey, Sue. Mia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Stephen. you, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Good evening from Aratula. Welcome. Louise Miller says, hey, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, All right. Well, great to be here, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on Loving Life Now on our Facebook Live for this yes. week. We thought, what topic are we going to talk about? What's yeah. what's front and centre? I don't know. We might as well talk maybe, about... Maybe this. <laughs> it's backwards. I know, but you've got you to gotta hold it closer so they can... Look at oh, the gold. So these are, these gold. are biscuits that Lee had gold. made for... Um, <laughs> that we shared with people that were at our house on They're Saturday. They're delicious too. 200 hey, hey, two, k club biscuits. So uh, <laughs> they're yummy. They're very yummy. But yummy, um, yum, yum. So we had balloons. We had some people join us here on the weekend. Oh, Hi, guys. Balloons. You guys are sensational. Achievement. Great. Big heartfelt congratulations. We have balloons Thank all over you. the house Thanks, Karen. <laughs> Beth Matthews. Hi, guys. Huge congratulations on your awesome results. They Thank are you, yummy, Beth. Dana. Dana says, yummy, they are delicious. Jacinda, hi guys, pleasure to be with you. Pleasure to be champions. with the champions. We had this great, uh, well, Kerry Young sent us a yeah. video of uh, Queen. Of the world. That's it, of Queen playing the song, and that was her uh, That was her gift to us. Hey, Agatha. G'day, Agatha. Welcome from Melbourne. I need to send you an email after this, don't I? Do you? Yeah. Yes, you do. About tomorrow. Yes, you should do that. I need to send Agatha. you a script, Agatha. Send us a reminder. <laughs> After this, I'll get on and I'll send you a script for tomorrow morning. So, uh, Brett says, so excited to have a cookie. Great party, very grateful to be here. Uh, Mandy Abel, g'day Mandy, welcome. Mandy. Legendary effort, guys, well done, thank you. Well, look, uh, let's let's talk about the 250K month. Like, mm. what a what an amazing, amazing result. Like, it, it's it, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Like it's blown us away, and, <laughs> and um, you know the the big thing is, and there's some really key 
learnings from the whole thing. And we, we were interviewed on the company training call when we reached 222,000, which was last Wednesday. Yes. Right. So last Wednesday, we were at 222,000 uh, on an internal training call. And, and Lee, we, we were really going for that goal, weren't we? Yes. So by the end of that call, what happened? Like five minutes towards the end of that stream. Well, we and had then two half more sales come through while we were on the call. So we went to 224,000. Yep. And then, uh, and then we woke up by the next day, we were at 242,000. Yeah. So we had an extra $18,000 come in after those additional two sales um, overnight in 24 hours. And then um, we went from 242 on Wednesday. Yep, to Thursday evening, it was 250. 250. 250 yep. and 16. Yeah. I think it was. So we were at, <laughs> we were at 250000 and $16 on Thursday night. We kept it very quiet. And, uh, and then we, um, we knew that we had until Saturday, close of business. Yeah. Um, and then we actually had a last order come in at 11 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on Saturday night. To push us up, Thanks, that, that last order was a, <laughs> a seven to seven uh, order, and uh, that pushed us up to the two fifty seven. Yes, two fifty seven six eight eight. So set a new company record for the most income earned uh, in a single month with our business, which is super exciting, and look so grateful for the people that you know, the team, the people that contributed, the people that stepped up in their own businesses. That went, yeah. you know what, I want to be. I want not only do I want to be a part of this great success story but I also want to step up in my business yeah and I think what it's done is it's really inspired people to um, realize that anything's possible and Lee and I were talking today we've gone down gone around and pulled down all the 250,000 um, um, signs. Uh, signs around the house and we're like right now we've got to we've got to focus we've got to shift our focus to the next the next, next goal time. and the next sign so um, you know, we're working towards um, uh, sign-ups. We're working towards what else? We got some some big goals that we want to achieve. Mm -hmm. On so, uh, see, I realised something yesterday. So my past company record that I had was one hundred and sixty thousand. So we've nearly done a hundred more than the record. Yeah, that it, that was sitting at for like a long time. Eight years. Yeah, maybe eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at my shirt. Like I decided to wear the shirt today and it actually says down the bottom it's got like awesome. So it says fifty <laughs> years of being awesome here. Look, look, look. See, fifty years of being awesome. So <laughs> I had this made and I'd never wear it worn it. Before he turns fifty one this And year. I thought I'd better wear it before I turn fifty one. So today was the day I decided that I'm just gonna get out there and we walked into the um and look at Lee's top. So here we here we are. Here we are matching. Blingy bling. <laughs> Walking. We went to the went to the chiropractor's today, and we walked in, and we had Sunny's on, and she's like, "Oh, oh hello, rock stars." Rock stars. <laughs> <laughs> Got our cut split jeans on, and uh, Sunny's on, and and uh, you know, gold and black t shirts. So it was funny. Uh, but, thanks, um, Greg and Kat. Look, it was uh, it's a it was an amazing goal to achieve, but you know, certainly, Lee, we couldn't have done it with um with the you know the contribution of the business owners that yeah. have actually just taken the next step. And one of the things we always talk about in our industry is about take the next step you can as quick as you can take it yeah. towards where you want to go. And um, you know it's it's just been inspiring to achieve such a <laughs> to achieve such a, a magnificent, incredible result. Not only for the company, yeah. but for every single one of us. I mean. You know, the stories that we're able to share when we talk to people, you know, the stories that that our associates can share, you know, that I'm working with uh, with this couple that have just knocked out, you know, a quarter of a million dollars profit in a single month in our business here. So, you know, that I mean, that alone mm -hmm. is, is an amazing story to be able to share. But there's so many other people in the business, even from a smaller scale, you know, having fifteen, twenty thousand dollar months and there's just a, this abundance of people having these amazing months. All yeah, well at it's the same it's time. Gone ballistic, right? Mm. And here's cheers to the result. I've got water. <laughs> you got water. Cheers, cheers, cheers to the result. <laughs> I'll have a sip of red wine. <laughs> I'm saving myself. <laughs> so um what what else um what do you think is you know was we put some some uh points out in the email that we sent out, which was all about your vision creates your reality, right? So how did our vision create our reality? 
Can you tell me your perspective? Like, how did our vision create our reality? I don't know. I don't know how to put into words. Come on, tell me. give me some words. Tell me. <laughs> well, we went after it, right? We, be- yeah. we believed from the word go that we could achieve that result. And we approached the owners of the company and we spoke to them about it and we said, look, this is what we're going for. And they didn't believe us. They doubted us, yes. There was a little... That's it, one of them. <laughs> one of them's like, yeah, do it. The other one's like, oh, maybe really in a little bit. Well, Shane, Shane thought it was uh, pretty possible, but Rach, uh, Rach was a little bit... Um, a little bit... Uh, look, it's great that you're going for that goal, guys, but, you know, um, that's a pretty yeah. big goal. <laughs> We're like, listen here, okay. you're not listening to us. Linda, Linda, you're listen. not listening. <laughs> we said, come on, Rach, you, uh, we, we believe that this is absolutely achievable and absolutely yeah. attainable. And I think one of the things that, that uh, we continued to do through the whole way was maintain our focus. Yeah. So we talk about your vision creates your reality. So if you don't have a vision then you can't create a new reality. No. Right? And funny thing, as my daughter Jayla was in uh, my office the other day and she went to the, I've got a vision board on the wall. She's like, mom, you need to pull this down and this down and this down because you've already achieved them. And I'm like, ah, you're right. And one of them was a picture of a black Mercedes, which you'd forgotten was even on your vision board. Yeah. So really ironic. And then Lee's got 200K month written on her vision board. Um, and uh, like in a, like a printout, like a clipping, 200K month. And uh, I looked at that and I pointed it out to her. And first to achieve 200K is up there too. Yeah, so I pointed it out to her yesterday. So, you know, we talk about our vision creates our reality. So, you know, if you don't have a vision board, if you're not going after your goals, then what are you going to achieve, right? You, you've got nothing to strive for. So one thing that, you know, we really decided was that this was achievable and we stuck to our vision mm. and we went after it and we continued to believe it. Yeah. We... Um, and look, don't get us wrong, there was moments where we were like, oh... But we flicked the switch on those. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, are we going to make it? <laughs> but, you know, I mean, look what we ended up with. 257688 yeah. US dollars profit in a single 31 day period in our business. So um, it, it, it truly is um, amazing result. And you know, yeah. it's, it's uh, for a lot of people, mind blowing, incredible. Um, there's so many, so many adjectives that can describe it, right? Yeah. Um, but for us, it was about that vision. You had to have the vision to, to achieve it. And secondly, we spoke about your actions create your outcomes. Yeah. So. We continued to take action all the way along, yep. right? We continued to um, do things that we needed to do, talk to people, we needed to lead by example, we wanted to inspire others, we wanted mm-hmm. to um, continue to continue to um, uh, prospect. You were, you were busy prospecting as well <coughs> yeah. during the whole thing, so you know, inviting new people into the opportunity in the business, but we were creating and building a story, right? Yeah, yeah, here's a question from Francis. What did Francis say? Isn't an industry record as a network marketing record? Um, well, good question, don't Francis. I don't, I don't know. So um, I, I couldn't tell you that. I'm, maybe we could do a Google search and find out as to, you know, whether what sort of, um, what sort of results um, people, you know, people have been able to achieve within the network marketing industry. I know certainly within our industry and within our business model, it's the biggest uh, single uh, month ever. Uh, in the in the industry for our business in personal development, it's like three hundred and thirty k plus in Aussie dollars. Absolutely. What other business provides a vehicle to achieve this? Oh, that's that's exactly right. There, there's no, no. <laughs> there's not vehicles out there that allow people to create that sort of result. I mean, in a single month, you know, I just spoke to a lady in South Africa, and she said to me, "I'd like to earn two and a half million rand." And I said, "All right, what's that worth?" So I did a quick search and compared it to Australian dollars. Thanks, Mitty. And um, the Australian dollar came back at 236,000. I said to her, do you know, for you to earn that in a year is absolutely achievable from my perspective. Because I did it last month. Because my <laughs> wife and I actually set a new income record and we actually just achieved a little bit more than that in a single month. And she's like, wow, like that's mind blowing, but I would love to achieve that sort of yeah. result. So, um, you know, it doesn't come without effort. You know, you've and got. We've been here a, a little while. Twelve years, thirteen <laughs> years for me. So you know, you know you've got to get rich quick overnight. Or... You've got to be prepared to put in the work. Yeah. All right. Um, 
And the other, the other comment we made was your mindset creates your success. So if we didn't have the right mindset around what we wanted to achieve, Lee, do you think we would have got the result? No. No. So why is that? Why is mindset so important? Well, it, it kind of is the base of everything, you know? Like it's like that someone wrote before, if you believe you achieve, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't believe, you won't achieve it. So it yeah. all starts with the mindset first in actually setting the goal, believing that you can achieve the goal yeah. and then actually taking the action to back it up and, you know, like it's, it's, it's the base of everything, really. Oh, look, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's, and a big, a, a big credit to everybody that played a part in, in just us achieving that. But the excitement that we've got in our organisation, mm. um, people in their businesses are uh, excited about the, the future of where they're going and what they're doing. So it's, it's been very inspiring as well, being able to achieve such a, an incredible result, but also to, to be leading the charge and, um, and, and just showing others what is achievable, mm, right? So, absolutely. you know, we talk about, and we spoke about on the training call about the four minute mile, you know, with Roger Bannister. And uh, until somebody had run um, the mile in under four minutes, it was never achievable. Mm. But then one person did it and then others did it. So, uh, you know, we've seen that here in the company, we've seen, um, another distributor obviously achieved such a, a great result as well at 213,000. Um, and that's amazing, you know, to have yeah. two business owners uh, inside a, a month period earn over 200,000 US dollars profit in their business mm. in a 31 day period is extraordinary. Um, and, you know, it's not just there, it's like you said earlier, it's right across the organization. We've got people that are creating phenomenal results. We've got uh, you know, team members that have reached 50K. Yeah. And we've got uh, a new lady in the business that uh, just achieved her 100K. Um, so, you know, big congratulations to all of those people. And then we've got people in the in the business that have actually re-achieved, you know, they, they've done mm. over 50,000 again in their business in a single month. So they've already yeah. achieved it before, um, but they're able to achieve it again. And yeah. that's remarkable, right? It, it just goes to show the potential of what we do here um, you know, I, I, I love the analogy of, of talking about uh, people are prepared to invest in education and they're prepared to spend, you know, 30, 40, $50,000 in educating themselves with a formal education, mm. um, only to have no guarantee of anything at the end of it. Yeah. So it might take them four years. So my daughter's a classic example at 24 years old, she went to university, did a double degree, got a, you know, put it all on a hex debt. Um, cost her, you know, a loan through the government, cost her $50,000. Um, she doesn't have to pay it back until she starts earning over $50,000. But at the end of that um, university double degree, um, she got a job for 35 grand. Yeah. Now, I don't see that as good value, right? Um, you spend 50 and you study your, your ass off for four years. And then, and then you get a job and you work for somebody and, and you get paid $35,000 a year. I mean, it's yeah. laughable. Yeah. So you imagine if somebody invested that sort of income into their business here and did nothing but learn for four years, what could they earn in year five? Mm. Like to me, that's, that's the story. And well, so yeah, many well, people are prepared to invest in formal education. What year it was that I started getting those results. It was probably my third year, maybe. Yep. Third or fourth year is where I still really started to get those results. In my business. Well, I think so, the people that have uh, recently achieved in excess of $50,000 in our business in a single month, you know, I've been here two years or three years. Mm -hmm. So they're in that second year, third year bracket yeah. where they're really striving to create um, some pretty serious results and success in their business. Mm. Um, and it's exciting to see, you know, you've got to, you've got to do the work somewhere. Um, Greg just said it was year five when they hit their first 50K month and then they actually backed it up and did it twice um, in, in a, a very short space of time. So, you know, They're once, serial offenders. <laughs> once, you get to, once you get to a certain level, you start to build that, that business and that momentum. Yeah. Um, so why don't we do something different? Why don't we allow people to come and ask some questions, not necessarily about our business as such, but more about how they achieving do that? their goal. They can pop it in the comments. I'll pop it in the comments, all right. Yeah, yeah. so if anyone has any questions they want to ask us, uh, so that, feel free to that pop that. I'm just said? going back. Quite long. Ah, Sue, said, um, Sue said, yes, that's so true, Simon. True investing in yourself, following your dreams in this company is truly an achievement now. It's incredible, absolutely. Um, Michelle said, 
Uh, that's one of the reasons I joined this business. It was a toss up, my marketing degree or the business. I've chosen wisely, absolutely. Um, you know, what is a marketing degree gonna do? It's gonna, it's gonna get you a job um, and allow you to earn an income and build somebody else's business and somebody else's dream. So, yeah. you know, invest time and effort into becoming a marketing specialist in our business and, and what's possible in two years, three years, four years down the track. I mean, what are you, what are you really working towards? Um, what was that? Uh, Greg said, uh, year five, yeah, we hit the first day. David said, uh, thanks for sharing that, appreciate it. So if you've got any, uh, any comments, any questions you wanna pop in, absolutely do that. Lee, was there any other key points from your perspective that you think was, was crucial to us achieving that result? Was there any, you know, anything, any sort of gold nugget or anything that... Um, well, we, we actually didn't just go, oh, let's just achieve this goal and had no idea. No. So we actually sat down and worked out, okay, well, is it, is possible? it, is it possible based on you know, how many team we have and all that kind of stuff. So, and we didn't know how we were going to get there. No, we didn't know the, the road, but we had to make sure it was physically possible before doing it. Yeah. So, you know, we didn't have a, a team of five people. And it's, yep. you know what I mean? Like you've, you've got to have a good amount of team and numbers and, and different things going on. Um, to be able to do that. So first question, what was the biggest mindset shift you had in order to achieve it? Um, was to believe it, was to believe that it was absolutely achievable. So just to, just to actually put it out there, um, you know, frame up that A4 bits, piece of paper saying that we're happy and grateful that we've now achieved and our first goal on the paper was 200K mm -hmm. because we wanted to achieve the 200K club, right? Which was the, the cookies here that Lee had made. Have a look at these. Oh, where's the camera? Over them. here. So they're, they're 200K club cookies with, um, what is it, a marble well, effect? Gold, yeah, marble and then gold foil. Yeah, and um, these are all individually wrapped. So if you're looking to know where you get them from, you get them from a company called Confetti, is that what they're called? Um, a confetti. confetti cake. They're Ooh. a vanilla sugar cookie. They are super yummy. 200K club. So that was our first goal was to hit that, yeah. right? Because that wasn't created. But we had also set the goal higher. Yes. And the goal was 250, but we wanted to get to the 200K. So mm -hmm. first thing we had to do was to believe that it was absolutely achievable and just go after it. Yeah. Um, and back ourselves. Um, Cheryl said, I have an MBA and it enriches me professionally. However, take your point, Simon. Thanks, Cheryl. Um, um, what is the company's new sign-up record for a 31-day period? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know that, Dana. Um, yeah. Couldn't tell you what, uh, what, the, what the stats of you know, sign-ups are as far as... Uh, you know, one of the important things about our business is that you build the business, you front line, you build the business wide. So you're continuously building your business in a, in a front-line perspective. Yeah. Um, and, of course, we know that people will grow their businesses and and want to expand their own opportunity and want mm -hmm. to go to the events and want to um, invest in themselves. So that's a key ingredient to creating results. Um, what so else have we got on guys, here? Guys, pop any questions in that Francis you have. says, what's your next goal? Oh. Well, the next goal we've spoken about, um, so the next short-term goal is to organize this boat. Yes, um, that so is that's, the next that's, goal. That's our next goal, is to, uh, is to make that happen. Um, but certainly we've got some other goals about, you know, building the business wide. So we really want to expand that frontline opportunity. Yeah. So uh, we're super excited about... And then after about... that will be obviously the 300K. Yeah. And we've got, well, we've got some changes to our products happening mm -hmm. on soon. Yes. Can't say when, um, but soon. And, and that's going to drive new interest and new dynamics mm. into our business presentation. We're going to have a new business presentation launched. So all that is going to drive... Um, you know, an opportunity to build and grow that frontline business. Yeah. Um, and then what else? What, what other goals have we got? We got some other other big goals besides um, that. I think it's you know build the being able to travel again. That's big goal. <laughs> being able to travel again overseas. Uh, out of the country. We've got we've got a lot of plans. We're we're looking at what we're going to do between Christmas and New Year. We're thinking of um, going to Tassie. Maybe. So uh, Tony was on here earlier. Tony, don't forget about that. We got to look up yeah, those uh, a trip on. to Tassie. Um, so <laughs> thinking of going to Tasmania for uh, between Christmas and New Year, Taste of Tassie, um, Sydney to Hobart comes in and spend the time down there drinking wine and eating cheese. I mean, what, what more could Travel, you want? Travel, cheese, wine, <laughs> what, we're sorted. What more could you want? And being in the cold in Tassie during... I don't uh, know about being in the cold, but you know, it, it will be summer. But So that's, uh, that's a bit of a goal on the, yeah. on the list. Um, what got... would be your advice in terms of goal setting from a new starter's point of view? Okay, Lee? Well... 
for me, look, my first goal wasn't to make 200,000 a month. My first goal was to make 10,000. Yep, and then that was mine I, too. And once I hit 10,000, then it was to make 50,000. And yep. then it was to make 100. So I progressed, my goals have progressed along the way. Mm -hmm. um, so set a goal that excites you, but it is just that little bit out of reach. So it's going to make you stretch to get there. That would be my, my tips. My mate, don't make this massive goal straight away. Make it a, a smaller goal that's like a stepping stone goal to get to the bigger goal. But the other thing is about being in flow, right? Mm -hmm. So we know the universe has got our back. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got synchronicity going on in our life with uh, magic numbers, with 1111 and 22 showing up, which is the most powerful number in the universe, which means... Um, uh, growth and expansion or 222 is all about growth and expansion yeah and you know we've got these things constantly happening in our life with um you know we know that we're in flow we know that things are happening and and um you know we think about it and we and it, we bring it about mm -hmm. right it, like it really is there was that moment when when uh, we woke up one morning and and in my mind i said come on universe you've got our back show us we need your help now to get to our goal and then you picked up your phone and one of our team members had sent a message saying, I want to help you get to your goal. What do I need to do? Yeah. Right? Like these are the sorts of results that you think, wow, well, I just, in my mind, I just said, hey, you yeah. know, show us, you know, give us some yeah. help here. We're really, we're really that close and we want to make it happen um, because the change and the story that this is going to create uh, for our industry is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, the industry, our business, um, the work from home business, the the network marketing industry, the God, it's just it's bigger than it's bigger yeah, than just it's bigger than <laughs> us, and it's bigger than you, right? Yeah. Um, it, it's a big story, and you can you can share that story and create that story with others, um, which is truly remarkable. Absolutely. Right? Uh, what advice do you, you wish you could go back and tell yourselves when you first started in your business? Mm, what advice? Be, um, be more patient. Because <laughs> I was so impatient when I first got started. So be, be more patient with yourself and don't try and force the results. Yeah, don't try and force the result. Um, what advice would I give myself if I had to go back? And I would probably say, um, I mean, I I had a pretty pretty quick start, right? So I... I really sort of backed myself and um, immersed myself in the business and the industry really quickly. Um, earned 120,000 US profit in my first six months. So, so he was a rock star, I wasn't. <laughs> so I was so what, I, what, I, what I would do is, is say, trust in the process and trust in the, the longevity of what you do. Um, you know, that anything you do, the longer you're in it, the bigger it gets, the more results you create, right? It could be, you know, if you're in a job and you think back to careers that you've had and think if you're in a career, do you advance through that career? Generally, people do, right? Yeah, they get the more time. experience, they yeah. learn more skills, they become more proficient, they become better at what they're doing. Same thing here in our home business. You know, the longer you stick at what you're doing, mm. the better you're going to get. So trust that process. Trust that you are the learner and you're willing to learn and you're willing to invest in yourself the time and the effort that it takes. Um, Shane says, congratulations to you both. What an epic achievement. What would you say is the main mantra that drives you, you have mantra. your day, week in, week out? Raise your vibration, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Raise my vibration. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good mantra. I mean, I, I, I love to, to get out there, Shane, and, and lift my own vibration, you know, and... Uh, I don't know, you've got to feel good about yourself. You do have to know when you can just raise your own energy and, uh, and, and just switch it on, right? Because we're not always like that, no. right? We can have moments where we're just quiet. And Earlier wanna... today, I was definitely not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's moments when, when you're just doing your, doing your thing and you're focused and you, your vibration's not exactly high because you're 100% immersed in what it is that you're doing, but... When you go to do something or you go to talk to people um, on the phone about our business and you go to do an interview or a follow-up call, you've got to know how to flick that switch and you've got to raise your own vi vibration. And um, So that's an important one. Um, as far as your main mantra, hmm, it's 
probably it's probably a, a key ingredient is is making sure that you're in the right headspace because if you're yeah. not in the right vibration or the right headspace or the right feeling when you're talking to people then uh, guess what they're gonna it's gonna come across yeah it's gonna come across they're gonna feel that they're gonna they will they will um absolutely get that energy or you come from a place a lot of people come from a place of desperation like you said trying to force the force the mm. equation or force the the outcome um so yeah. you certainly don't want to do that what else have we got uh the social proof is now evident of what can be achieved Excellent. Greg says, I've got a question. Can you send me send a cookie? Send me a cookie. <laughs> we could. Mm, maybe, oh. if you're a good boy. <laughs> Will you be writing a book as a couple? Leanne's book is on my, re- uh, on my to read list. list. Well, Leanne's actually started the next book. Um, she did start it and then, uh, and then it stalled. Got distracted. Um, we got distracted with other things in our business. But, uh, so the next book is called Lifestyle, Love and Beyond, which is our tagline. So that's lifestyle, love, and beyond. And uh, that's something that Lee and I came up with when we created the Simon and Leanne brand. Um, and, you know, for us, it, I mean, yeah, I mean, you are you were going to start that. Yeah. We well, have started it. I've started it. So um, but it's, I don't it's know if we'll the... do one together. Like, book writing's not, I mean, it was just kind of a thing that Shane told me to do. Maybe, maybe really... what I could do is, like, put some, put some like, like a paragraph of something in there. You might say, you know, I asked Simon about this and then I just give you this bit of information that you drop in there. Well, we'll come back to you on that one. We'll, we'll see what happens. There's a question from Peggy. What would you tell a, a new associate to do in their first 12 to 18 months in business? What should their first big goal be? Well, the first thing I'd be doing is getting qualified across all the products, right? Yeah. I mean, without a doubt, there is no way that I would be sitting uh, for the first 12 months at the M1 or at the M7 level in our business. I mean, it's... Uh, for me, it's about you want to be rewarded for your efforts. Yeah. And if I didn't do that um, when I got started, I wouldn't have earned 120000 in my first six months, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I would have passed up money to Rachel because I wasn't able to earn profits on those products. So, yeah. you know, you've got to make a decision. Do you want to be a business owner? And if you want to be a business owner, then... Treat your business treat like your... a serious business. Absolutely. Yeah, just like you were buying a franchise or something, you know, treat yeah. it the same way. So that would be a key ingredient for me. First 12 to 18 months is position yourselves as a, as a serious business owner. Um, I really expect, what did Suzanne say? That, that you would crash through to 300k, <laughs> to be honest. Well, funny you say that. We actually had enough orders to do that, but some of them fell through. So we, Some of the orders just didn't, didn't, uh, didn't finalise. Tony, so. ha- Tony hasn't forgotten. We haven't forgotten. Good. Good. With the boat, will there be parties for your team? Ah, well, sure, hey, yes. So Cheryl. The, the whole idea behind the boat, we actually had a meeting with the accountant about it um, to, ensure, <laughs> to ensure that we could uh, that we could put it through the business. Um, so we've looked into all that. We're, we're in the stages of just trying to, uh, you know, line up all the ducks so that, so that we can make it happen. And uh, one of the things that we've absolutely said is that we want to use it for marketing purposes. We want to use it for the business. Um, we, it's licensed to carry 25 people. So, you know, when we go out on the boat, we want to get, we want to make that an incentive for people. Mm. So we want to say, Hey, you know, let's, let's get you together. You've just, um, invested in your business. So let's get you together and come out on the boat and we'll get a film, uh, well, videographer you've and a, a certain goal. Yeah. You've whatever. achieved a certain goal in your business, yeah. certain target. And, uh, we want to use that for, for exactly that, uh, opportunity. And we also want to make sure that we've got you know, videos and, and uh, photo footage when people come out. Yeah. So, and that was one of the things that we spoke to the accountant about. It means so you that, get friendly with a videographer and a photographer. Yeah. <laughs> so if you know any good videographer, photographers uh, on the Gold Coast that we can uh, line up. Well, we um, have one. We just need to work out a better deal with Yeah, them. well, he might <laughs> he might be taken up with all the stuff that he's doing for the company. So No, no, I'm talking about our other one. Oh, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Wedra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one that did <laughs> our, our, um, our wedding footage. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that's absolutely, Cheryl, it's, uh, it's a big goal of ours to, to use it for business, for sure. Uh, what else we got? Tassie is amazing. Tassie is amazing. Definitely Tassie. What is, your self-talk, what is your self-talk when it looks like it's not going to happen? Uh, good question, Zandy. Um, what is the self-talk? The self-talk is actually not to allow yourself to think it's not going to happen. Like I said, so, there's moments, but then you, you move on and go, okay, well, what else can I do? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, I think you've got to trust the process. And if, you, if you're doing the work, 
um, not allow yourself to actually go off track. Because if you go off track and that self-talk actually takes over, then what happens? I mean, you start to lose focus yeah. and you... you um, Go down the spiral. Let's yeah, well, you, the spiral. You, you, you're not in flow, right? You lose that vibration, that higher vibration. So, you know, possibly go away and self-talk would be, okay... Raise my vibration. Yeah, play Simon, some music and dance raise my like vibration. Free. Absolutely. And then go and put some music on. Do something fun. Um, I love music in the house and uh, lots of the times I play it loud. And in fact, the, the teenagers tell me to turn it down and I'm like, no. <laughs> I turn it, time to turn it down too sometimes. Uh, um, oh, oh, go back. Going too fast. Yeah. Oh, okay, Angela. Angela I'm says, so glad I decided to watch your live. This definitely helped me with the decision to pause my studies. I'm doing a Master of Social Work and Law degree. Thank you, Lee and Simon. Such an inspiring life. Definitely needed this inspiration. You're welcome, Angela. Uh, David says, let it go and let it flow. Super attractors, love it. Um, Lee, what year was your first big result? Well, when, when did you make the 50K club? So mine that was 2013. Was, I don't know. I need to look. So there you go. So I started in 2008 I and uh, I hit the 50K club in my fifth year, Greg. Ah, um, year five. There you mine go. Mine was. Let me get it up. Hold on. And uh, of course, look, you know, like I said, there's um, a lot of people come here and they create $100,000 income in their first 12 months. Um, some create it in their second and then they go on to earn that 50,000 in a single month and um, you know, often achieve that, like I said, in their, in their third year. Um, some, some are quicker, some are, you know, like okay, I, was, so, I was year five. So my 50K was my You started third in 09. Year. My so third year in. Third year in, yep. yep. And then I did my 100K. The year after. Well, technically it was the same year, but I, I didn't oh, get okay. the award to the next year. So right. my 100K was also my third year. Um, and then I did um, 160,000 in my fourth year. Right. There you there go. You go. All Good right. question. So what else I we have no here? Idea, David, so. Dave says, um, <laughs> that's a great question. Greg says, raise my vibration, it works. Greg Strom gave me that advice. Just say it to yourself and feel the energy. That's where I got it from, Greg. Okay, it was Greg it. Strom, for sure. Um, Doing whatever you can to stay motivated and put yourself in a happy place. Yes. You know, we learn from others. And, and I think that's a big thing is that understanding that um, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And, you know, we, we can learn so much from other people. And then we regurgitate that information ourselves in our own way. And mm -hmm. we lead by example with, the, with that information that we've learned from others. Yeah. You know, the information that you and I have learned through this business is from our mentors, right? From the people that we've surrounded ourselves with and um that's helped us in changing who we are the way that yeah. we show up uh the way that we come across and what we achieve mm -hmm. and, and what we go for absolutely so hey mel thanks for joining us um what are you saying to your future what are you saying to your future self today well sandy uh, the future self is about um is about living that future self life and i you know i mentioned this recently lee and i went to this sanctuary cove international boat show and we were looking around at boats for the day and we, we went there because we wanted to see what was out there and what was available and we wanted to step into our future self. Yeah. So I think some of, the, some of the things you've got to do is you've got to be prepared to step into that future self life and go and do things that are outside your comfort zone um, that you want to do or things that you've got on your goal list or your bucket list or you know if it's a, a particular place you want to go to uh, if it's a car you want to drive, if it's boats that you enjoy, if it's, you know, whatever it is, um, go, and, go and experience that. Go and have a look, go and check it out. And, um, you know, I, I certainly know, and we spoke about this as we walked around the boat show, I said to Lee, do you realise that right here, right now, we're actually stepping in to our future self life. Like we are being our future self. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's a, such a huge awareness to to have when you're in an environment like that. Absolutely. Um, Karen says the new six pack boat in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Um, Agatha said, can I fill my six pack there? <laughs> That's very well, achievable. If, if we let you into Queensland, Agatha. <laughs> um, what's the total for the last two months? Bet it's mind blowing. I actually haven't worked that out. Shane asked we me will. that, but we will work that out. We will yes, work that for out. Sure. Um, 
I know a fabulous team to work with. Gorgeous work guys with you. and highly Gorgeous. talented. Says Bev Matthews. Okay. Okay, Bev. Well, cool. let us know. Um, I'm still scrolling. When you first started, what did you do to push yourself through the roadblocks? What did you do? What did I do? Hmm. Um, I did lots of personal development. Yeah. So I um, immersed myself in the product. Mm -hmm. um, I immersed myself in the, um, the Beyond Freedom Evolution course of ours. Yeah. Um, because I knew that I needed to shift my thinking. And roadblocks are in your head. Yeah. They're in your mind. So um, to overcome roadblocks, Look, there can be physical roadblocks in our lives, don't get me wrong, and they can be people. <laughs> we can have stoppers in our life and they have roadblocks. Yeah, some of those. Um, but a lot of, but still those stoppers, it's in our control if we allow them to be stoppers or if we don't. So they're only temporary roadblocks and they're only roadblocks if we allow them to be. Yeah. So I think, I think the, key, the key ingredient for me was personal development, was to absolutely immerse myself in the industry, the product, um, you know, I listen to The Secret, I, I've got the movie, I've got the audios, you've got them, we listen to them in the car, we would drive along and, and listen to uh, the audios from The Secret book, uh, Jim Rowan, um, you know, as much personal development as we could to really immerse ourselves in changing our thinking and our own limiting beliefs. So that, um, that would be the biggest thing to push yourself through roadblocks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, thank you for this stream. So good to hear it. It puts it all in perspective. It's great to know that it doesn't happen overnight, but with commitment and persistence and a vision, it can happen. No worries, Peggy. What else we got? Uh, we need to travel again so I can visit my future self. <laughs> That's right. And Stacey says, congratulations on your 250K. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, Stacey. And uh, look, it's, um, you know, I think the, the key to change is self-improvement, right? Yeah. The key to change is... Change your thinking in order to change your results. Um, Tony said, love that roadblock advice. Thanks, Tony. Um, and it is, it's, it's, been a, it's been such a key ingredient. And yeah. I know that if, um, if, if we're not vibrating at the right level or if things aren't quite where they wanna be, you've just gotta immerse yourself in more personal development or read a book uh, that's personal development, you know, yeah. or listen to audios or immerse yourself in the program and the product and surround yourself with people that are vibrating at a higher level, right? Yeah. That are actually inspiring you to go and create greater levels of success. Yep, absolutely. Anything else? Cool, no, I think that's plenty. Awesome, well, um, again, a big thank you to all of you that have joined us on our Facebook Live this evening. Uh, we really appreciate you being here and um, listening to what we've got yeah. to share. We've got uh, more celebrations this weekend. We have. Well, first of all, we're, uh, we're hosting our company uh, training call tomorrow. Yeah. So we're going to be up bright and early at quarter to five, Queensland time. And we'll be on the stream at 6 a.m. So we'll look forward to those that are attending tomorrow morning's professional marketers call. We've got a, a great intro taker lined up. And uh, we've also got a great guest joining us yeah. on the stream who just knocked out over $50,000 in their business. And uh, we'll be interviewing uh, on the stream tomorrow. So no doubt we'll celebrate a little bit more with the company, but also get to um, celebrate with others. Yeah. And then this weekend, we're meeting up with my daughters in Brisbane and their partners and going out, taking them out for a, a night on the town. So that'll be good fun. And Mel and, and James uh, on Saturday. Yeah, going to dinner with Yay. friends on Saturday night in Brisbane. And uh, and then next week, we've got... Uh, we got lots on. We lead in leads into the school holidays, right? It does. The school holidays are on us um, quick as a flash. So, um, thanks for being here, everyone. Again, um, super grateful for what we've been able to achieve, and and uh, every single person that uh, has joined us on the stream tonight. Yay. That's played that played a part in that. So, um, to you, I say thank you and um, namaste. <laughs> All right, guys, have an awesome one, and we'll see you same place, same time next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.